Very nice airport. <laughs> Thanks. All the best. All right. back. Stop Let's get to work. Auckland International Airport. Good morning everyone, today we are challenging ourselves, we go from Goose Bay to Nasar Swak and then to Reykjavik which will be a long day, it's 7.30 in the morning. Philip went to buy some sandwiches and I just want to show how we're going to be dressed today. One, two, three, thermal, and then the jacket and a dry suit. We used the heater yesterday and it consumes quite a lot of fuel, which is not stated anywhere in the manual, but we figured it out by filling the fuel tanks separately. First we fuel the right fuel tank from which the fuel is used for the heater and then the left fuel tank and the difference was quite significant. On long route you don't want that. So no uniform today. I even took the hat with me. <laughs> we will see if we need that. So pre-flight check reveals that the fuel cooled down and you see we have a lot of space for more fuel and that's what we're gonna do. I asked Philip to go and do the fuel request and yeah I think we really need it. It's not so easy to transfer yourself in the plane, in this costume, but it's a mandatory thing to have it. Now it gets a bit cold, warm. We are fueling completely and I'm gonna get the weather. So make the payment, I'm getting the clearance. We are on IFR flight, we cannot be delayed 15 minutes, okay? Confirm your welcome for 13,000 and 160 knots for the crossing. I found 13,160 knots uh, in cruise. Roger, and confirm ATF radio equipped. Uh, negative for the moment. Check negative ATF and uh, advise them ready to, to copy the weather. Uh, ready to copy. Goose Bay weather issued at 1100 Zulu current winds on the field 290 10 knots, visibility 15 statute miles, U 2000, U 9000, U 24000. Temperature 16, 2.9, altimeter 2983. 2983, copy. Roger, standby, air raids on request. Terrain <coughs> system test, <coughs> okay. <laughs> nice outlet, huh? Ready to go. ATC cleared, destination North Southwest. By the Goose Bay 3 departure. First point, hoist. 59 North, 50 West. November Alpha, destination. Cruise 160 knots. You can anticipate flight level 130. Squawk 7203. Rebeck is correct. And uh, Gander advises they require ops normal calls on the hour. Ops normal calls on the hour. Copy.
one hour and two minutes past. Time to change fuel tanks. We are now running main fuel tanks. I can see that indication passed. So let's do the right fuel tank first because we might need a bit more fuel there just for some heating. Fuel pressure, switching off the auxiliary fuel pump. All good. Okay, fuel pressure now on the left. Auxiliary, change it to auxiliary tank. Yep. Pressure good. Fuel pump off. Check. So, and we record the time. Main, we change to one. And we used 49 gallons, 49 gallons, and now auxiliary will be the next to change. Okay, we are cleared to climb. I get easy <laughs> when I have low oxygen and when I see the very nice gold. 
<laughs> the other consideration is emergency procedures. Shall we have a critical failure and we have to go down into this nice blue ocean? Yep. So, shall we go down? I continue flying because I have yoke on my side. It is one yoke here. He will activate ELT, emergency locator transmitter. Jumps in the back to, pre pre to prepare the life raft. We think that it's better to use this emergency exit instead of opening the whole door because the water will come in into our aeroplane very quickly, but the windows are quite higher. And uh, what I did myself, I put my documents and wallet, everything in the dry suit. So even if we have to swim, I don't lose all my stuff and the phone as well. One thing to put on the transponder 77, go to heaven. 7700 is the code for emergency situations and report on uh, 121 decimal 5 to all stations the position where we're going down the coordinates and hope for the best <laughs> the sea is not uh, rough today yeah. it looks nice maybe she's just floating yeah we keep one engine running and just propel like a boat to yeah. <laughs> It's my birthday today, guys. I don't want to have on my on the cemetery birthday and and uh, death day the same. Uh, Jesus, please let me live another uh, 30 years and uh, not to die on my birthday. <laughs> you have a birthday cake for me? Just a small one because I know you don't like the carbs. <laughs> wow, wow! But they call it really they called it birthday cake. You <laughs> don't be surprised. I didn't know that. That's a surprise. How can I be not surprised? I mean, no joke. You see this little thing? Okay. It was called birthday cake. Okay. It, it's donut uh -huh. uh, dough with a little, you know, uh, it fell off. But it uh -huh. had these little sprinkles with sugar That's on fine. it. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Costa. Happy birthday to you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It gets colder, and will be colder because of some clouds. Makes sense to get yourself heat preserved. What do you think? Yeah, I'm freezing. My hands and feet are freezing. So some shocking news for us: the wind in Nassau is uh, 2480 knots, when the forecast was a zero, a zero six zero fifteen knots maybe a variable which means more or less we could land at runway 06 but now uh, looking at our chart I realized that we will have to do circling approach for runway 24 this is the R&P approach we will proceed to point Elgag or maybe direct to Bravo Whiskey 147 uh, maybe Elgag because here is quite high elevation and then this will be final approach fix. We will be fully configured at final approach fix. Bravo Fox at 147. The descent angle is 4.10 degrees, which is quite high. Circle to land will be 1,660 feet descent, basically 1,700 feet minimum descent altitude. And mid in missed approach point will be Bravo Whiskey Mike 47. We make the left turn maximum 130 knots. Climbing direct to Bravo Whiskey Tango 47. Passing 4,900, right turn to Elgag and probably, yeah, and hold it 5,500. This is our plan. The approach speed is always 1-1-0 one, one, and, uh, as I said, fully configured. That's the challenging one. A visual approach, when we reach the breakout point, we will come here and land on runway 24. And the ceiling in uh, Nassau Swag is quite okay. This is the weather, so few at 800 feet, uh, broken at 4,800, so we should be out of clouds already by intermediate fix, which is 3,000 feet, but we, 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 better, we better prepare well.
Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course it's challenging and everything. It is. Wallet, documents, yeah, and is. somewhere my mobile in very intimate zone. <laughs> and the mobile. Is. There is no reception here, uh, as far as I was concerned. For some reason, most of the operators from Europe don't work. I think this is the biggest piece on airplane ever. I actually flew one in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And you? Didn't you? The briefing room, I guess. Air Greenland. Hi. <laughs> uh, is it possible to have a cup of coffee? Warm coffee? Upstairs? Yeah. Hello. Hi, hi. hi.
Hi. Hey, how are you? All good, all good, fine, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's the there is a holiday in Iceland today. It's uh, Independence Day. Yeah. We yes, are it's we've and, been. And today is my birthday. So Your birthday. The girl in the, in Reykjavik, in uh, sorry in Reykjavik in the uh, Nassarsvag, he said. Everyone is celebrating your birthday today there. <laughs> okay. So it's a good place to go. <laughs> yeah. Is it morning already? <laughs> <laughs> it's not clear. Night, day, morning, all the same. Now I managed to sleep a bit better. Getting back to our time zone and the first day I'm doing morning exercise. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Brigadier. Breakfast time. And I take the big plate to take as much food as possible. We have the longest day on our trip. We have to stop in Hanover for customs before we proceed to, to the plane's destination, Magdeburg. Philip is upset that we didn't take the room with the airport view. But believe it or not, you wouldn't be able to sleep here. Mmm, <laughs> yum yum. Good. Have a look at that. Finally, we can eat something. Yeah. Yesterday, <laughs> and before yesterday, we were struggling <laughs> in America and Canada. The <laughs> food is not so, not so good. Yeah. All right, so this goes in here. And this goes in here. It's uh, lunch and dinner. Do -dum, do -dum. Do I, do I see you, Yes, my colleague is here. Yeah, he's doing the pre-flight, uh -huh. I think. I think it's a Dash 400, the fastest turbo prop. Philip is excited. I am. <laughs> and extremely tired, as you could guess. We will top up a little bit more of fuel again before departure. A lot of traffic here. All right, pre-flight is completed. And there we go. Let's get the weather. And as always, everything clearance. Weather at 1015 UTC, wind variable at three knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, cloud ceiling broken at 3,600 feet, temperature liner 2.6, QNH 1016 hectopascal, 30 decimal 02 inches. Terrain system test OK. AKV ground, hello, Oxford on board, uh, ready to cook it. Rick Airport ground, stop approved. And yeah, to Rick Airport, that's the box of Papa Channel via flight plan boot. Flight 150, squawk 3455. 
when you disconnect the autopilot or you have to trim up or down. This particular aeroplane is not equipped with electric trim, uh, which is a quite costly thing to install. Would be about 10k, 10, I guess. 10k, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a common thing. Not everyone needs it, and I'm okay. I think it's it's unnecessary investment, <laughs> to be honest. It helps, but uh, not like the 10k, I think. We are going just under these clouds at level 100 and the weather is just as was forecasted, look here. And soon we should see the sun, and I think I see the sun there. And as I was always saying, it's very good to have an aeroplane, it gives you some freedom, you can do some work while you just chilling, or you can listen to your music. Or oh, uh, doing Instagram. Prepare stories on Instagram of if you course. have reception. No oxygen today. The canola. It's not so comfortable. Canola. Hi, your favorite vlogger. 
Yes, how are we doing? Another flight from the belt. Yes, finally. <laughs> we made it. Cold face? Yeah, please. Cold. With milk for me. Yeah. Or cappuccino if you have yeah, a yeah, cappuccino. That's going to be good lunch. We're trying to file a flight plan to Hanover, but the routes look like this. Nothing is more direct than this. Crazy. I mean, going to Copenhagen to go to, to Hanover, or you have to go to Amsterdam to go to Hanover. I will try another website. We have a big challenge because the weather in Hanover shows thunderstorms, hail, all sorts of kind of things. And actually Hamburg. Yeah, well, now we have to go to Hanover because we have the customs arranged there. Hmm. And I'll try out the router. Let's go to my laptop. This, my, my weather shows quite okay look here. So here is the auto router, very nice thing. But in case I have to have a flight plan with my auto router, I have to put everything in the, the aircraft. So I just decided to use another website, eurofpl.eu. Flight plan, file. This for flight and other tools, they are a bit, you know, they give us some routing, which is not acceptable for our flight. Thank you guys, then goodbye. Do you need this? It would be good to stay here and drink this coffee, then have a dinner instead of fighting these weathers, but no. Service on departure, start approved. Uh, Startup approved, Juliet on board, 1019 procedural service. Prop area clear. Prop clear, clear prop. One magneto left on. Left magneto goes on. Primer, little Primary. primer. <coughs> A little primer. And start. And start. Can you see? Yeah, please. Starting, ready? Uh-huh.
<laughs> Crazy. Thanks. <laughs> So guys, we made it. Of course, with Philip it's easier because he sometimes does the radio, sometimes he even flew. The weather was quite challenging even for myself. I always say that, yeah, I'm lucky and so on, but this time it was... I mean, we are still lucky, the forecast you saw, it was <laughs> hail, thunderstorms, uh, heavy thunderstorms and so on. And yeah, we actually didn't even have quite any turbulence. Uh, please don't forget to write your comments and... Uh, hit the like button or oh, what uh, would you say to our my you subscribers? did a great job thank you very much all right guys so yeah please leave a like leave a comment leave leave everything o would you this do guy. this flight again i would i would but I, i'm happy we are here to be honest <laughs> me too yeah it was crazy yesterday the weather was crazy today it was crazy thank you for watching this video this was konstantin fetchenko kfi avia aviation sales and happy owner of this aeroplane Beechcraft Twin Bonanza, Philip, and he is the owner of one interesting website, flugzeugkaufen.com. Link in the description below. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.